And now, ladies and gentlemen, Lou Holtz, Baby Snooks, and the gang presenting Lou Holtz's famous song travesty, O Sola Mio. <laughs> They say that Dr. Brown fell down in a well and broke his collarbone. It serves him right. He should have tended to the sick and let the well alone. Oh, so la me. Oh, so la me. Oh, so la you. Oh, so la you. Ha-cha-cha, ha-cha-cha. Ha-cha-cha, ha-cha-cha. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Well, all right. All right. Well, all right. <laughs> And now, now we hear from Snooksy. A man got killed in a very funny way. He was my uncle, Andrew Clo. He threw his cigar out the second story window, but he forgot <laughs> to let go. Oh, soul of me. Oh, soul of me. Oh, soul of you. Oh, soul of you. He forgot to let go. He forgot to let go. We won't see him anymore. We won't see him anymore. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. And here, here is John Bowles. I know a guy that leads women on and on, then leaves them in the dark like a traitor. Still the women keep following him night and day. He's an usher in the Paramount Theater. Oh, soul of me. Oh, soul of me. Oh, soul of you. Oh, soul of you. Usher, usher, usher. Usher, usher, usher. Paramount. Paramount. Little. Little. Ha ha. Ha ha. And here comes Lalganga. Come on, echo. Pro the Nazi la baza ben it's up in the crank in a boat. He says there's one thing that puzzles me. I can't figure it out to save my soul. More than a son again the viola von a marda shaking in a home. He says, when you take off your shoe and there's a hole in your stocking, what becomes of the goods that was in that hole? Oh, soul of me. Oh, soul of me. Oh, soul of you. Oh, soul of you. Toodle-loo-loo-loo. da 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 tre le 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 Tonight in our concert hall, Meredith presents the ninth new American composition, the world premiere of an American minuet written especially for this series by Harold Arlen, the famous composer of the Wizard of Oz music. All right, Meredith, Harold Arlen's American minuet. <laughs>
was beautiful, Meredith, beautiful. My compliments to you and to Harold Allen, composer of the American Minuet. It will be of interest to all the patrons of the concert hall to know that the popularity of the new American compositions has been so great that the Robbins Music Corporation has decided to publish them all in one volume. Next week, Meredith will present the tenth new composition by an American composer, An American March, written by Ferdi Grofay. And also next week, we have a very special treat for you, the lovely MGM star and Southern and William Gargan and the Damon Runyon, Joe Turp story. I'm sure you'll agree these two stars will do a grand job of it. This, of course, in addition to Fanny Bryce as Baby Snooks and all the regular gang. So be with us next week, and until then, this is Edward Arnold and all of our good news cars saying... This is Warren Hall reminding you that your only ticket of admission to these good news broadcasts has been your loyalty to Maxwell House Coffee. May we continue to deserve that loyalty and support during all the days of the year to come. And now, good night, good luck, and a happy new year to each and every one of you from the makers of Maxwell House, the coffee that's now, more than ever, good to the last drop. This is the National Broadcasting Company.